Hello Pisces. This is your May 13th through the 19th general reading, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Now, meditating on your energy while shuffling your cards, I definitely, why won't this go in? Okay, you guys are having a problem finding all the pieces you need. And I think I know why. Okay, things are not falling quite into place, but you have so much going on this week. Oh my God, busy, 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 okay? When I was shuffling your cards, meditating on your energy, all I could do was go Pisces, 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 Pisces. So either you're dealing with children, and if you're a mom, 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 or if you're dad, 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 you know, or you have a lot of communication coming in. You, how did I get backwards cards? You have a lot of communication coming in. You've got a lot of people wanting your attention. You've got things going off the hook. Your phone's not stopping. Your email's not stopping. If you're at work, it's not stopping. It's not slowing. It is moving, pushing forward. I'm definitely getting that. Things are pushing you forward. You have no time to stop and rest. And your card that fell out in the beginning, Knight of Wands. That is you, okay? Now, he is moving forward very, very quickly, Things, that's your situation if it's not you. Things are moving forward very, very quickly. Very quickly. But he is in control of that horse, isn't he? He's flying, but he's in control of it. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces? We're going to be doing a pick a card at the end, so it's going to be one, two, or three, yes or no. Um, you can have three questions. You can have one question. Just assign a number. Okay. Yeah? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, there we go. Three of swords, but it did want to come in in reverse. Moving quickly past a heartache. And healing. Look at that. Beautiful. Quickly moving past a heartache and healing. And life is taking off on you. Bottom of the deck. Two of swords. You're waiting for something, Pisces. You're waiting for something. Let's see what we got. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, this can totally be you with children. And the High Priestess. Okay. If this is not you, you are digging up information. Or, I mean, if this is not children. Or even if it is, you can still be, you're looking into something, you're getting information. You're getting information, Pisces. You're getting a lot of information. You're taking it in. You're taking it in. I can feel it. You're taking it in. You're taking information from spirit realm as well as from the computer, your phone, books, um, tapes, you know, um, lectures. You're taking in a lot of information, okay? Then we have... Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, King of Swords, Two of Cups. You're moving forward into love, but with a clear mind. You're, you're finding a sweet spot. I don't know that this is necessarily about anybody else, but it sure does look like it, doesn't it? Sure does look like you are going towards a king of swords. Moving on from one situation straight to a king of swords. And it is a good match, Pisces. 
right? You're heading straight. This is now, this is a person. This is a lot of knowledge, right? It's swords, okay? But you are going in with your cup ready. However, this cup is not ready. This cup is not ready yet. Okay? That's why you're over here getting all this information, getting all this knowledge. Yeah, you're not ready yet. You are not quite ready yet, but you are getting ready. You are definitely getting ready. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it. I don't know why, but I got this feeling of just, which is funny because the Ten of Swords is underneath it. I got this. <laughs> I don't know why, but she looks like she wants to go to bed. She looks like she wants to get, get her PJs on and go to bed, right? Be done. Be done with the day. Be done with the week. And under that, we had the Ten of Swords being done with it. So you're done with not having the information. You're done with the status quo. You're done with the heart. Oh, I get it. You're done with the heartache. You're done with things being the way that they are. You're done with everything you're not happy with. You're done with it. You're getting everything you need to move forward to fill this cup. Now, this cup can be emotional knowledge, um, financial. This is everything is in this cup. I've never, never had this before ever. Never. You are filling this with, this is the, this is really, this definitely has a magician feel to it. This Knight of cups is becoming the magician. That's what it is. You're becoming the magician. This is awesome. Okay, so as busy as you think you are now, just wait, Pisces. Just wait. But it's going to be good. It's going to be very, very good. You're going to have help on the way. You're going to have partnership. You're going to have friends. I don't know what this is exactly. It's a general read. But this is, this is a very good... This is very good. Okay. Let's see the theme. I like to pull the theme after. Um, it seems... This is not the theme deck. This is the theme deck. It seems to help pull it all together. Okay. This is the theme for Pisces. For the week of 13th through the 19th. God, Pisces, you're going to be so busy. That's why you just want to go to bed. Summon. <laughs> That's why you want to go to bed. Mm. How to take action. High Priestess of Fire. Oh, they're both fire. Look at that. Got the spark and turning it into a fire. Exactly. Here is your spark. Here is your, turning that into your fire. This is, you're becoming the magician, Pisces. That's all I can say. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but you are becoming the magician. And I'm so very happy for you. Okay. I have a couple of people in my life, they're Pisces moons, and they are just the best people ever. They really are. Absolutely love the Pisces in my life. Okay. This is angel guidance. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. Oh, honey, you got it coming. All of that. All of that. Everything I just said, you got that coming. Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready. You've been wishing and wanting and waiting and working. And whether or not you knew you were working on it, you've been working on it. 
Okay. Oh, Pisces. Oh, you're about to get into a roller coaster. I just feel this rush of energy that's kind of making me dizzy. All right, this is a fairy deck. Um, this is from the elementals. This is from multidimensional beings. Doesn't really matter. It's from everybody that didn't answer on the other deck. Strength. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you're gonna. You're. It's. You can do this. Like I said, you're gonna want to go to bed, but you have the strength to do this. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. Absolutely. I don't feel a need to pull another one. I really don't. All right, what's holding you back? What is holding Pisces back from moving forward with this? What is holding Pisces back from moving forward with this? What do you really want? I knew Egypt was going to show up. Time. Time. Okay, it's not quite time. What do you really want? What do you really need? And it's not quite time yet. You need to decide first what you really want and what you really need. The difference between the two. Yep. I knew Egypt was going to show. It, and Egypt doesn't mean time to me, but it definitely does this time. Ah, okay. This is where you're going. And you had number 54, encouragement. You're going to be leading people. You're going to be leading people. And sacred pool. I need to look up sacred pool. Hold on one sec. I don't know all of these cards. Pisces, you are definitely going to be a leader. Whether you know it or not, you're going to be leading a lot of people. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. You're going to be resonating at a much higher level, Pisces. You're going to be leading. You're leading. Whether you know it or not yet. Okay. Let's see what energy spirit is bringing in for you to use most readily. All energies are available for you at all time. This is just going to be most readily available to you. Okay. If this is a love reading... If this makes sense to you on a love reading, it's going to be really good. And it, I'm betting it's going to be with an air sign or a water sign, but we do have a lot of pentacle too, though. We've got everything here, except for fire. The only fire here, well, you're Pisces, is the situation. The only fire we have here is the situation, but you know what? It's good. Alpha Dragon. Harness the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. Like I said, you're going to be leading. You're going to be leading people. Pisces. Okay? All right. So that's that. We're going to do your picket card real quick. This is huge. This is absolutely huge, Pisces. If you know exactly what this is in your life, I would love to know. I would love for you to tell me what this is about. Because this is really big. We're going to put these back in. I'm not ready for them. Yeah, you know what? Nope, we're taking them. Okay, fine. Bottom of the deck is the lovers, so there's a choice. There's a choice to be made. Number one, ten of rods. This is moving on. This is a yes. You're moving into a new cycle here. Seven of swords, did I would say no, not in your highest interest. Number three, oh my goodness, if you pick number three for love, this is a big 
whopping yes. Massive yes, okay? All right, Pisces, that's all I have for you for now. Peace to you. Ciao.